Hi guys, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today looking at a 2011 Land Rover Freelander HSE. So the HSE is the top of the range of the Freelander model, or should I say Freelander 2 in this case. Um, this particular one, registered 2011, it's done uh, just over 130,000 miles, so it's done quite a few miles. Obviously previously been very much loved by its, uh, its previous owner. The, uh, the car's finished in a nice metallic grey, as you can see, it's uh, it's got the familiar Land Rover face with the uh, the large grille and the uh, the spot lamps there. There's not really, considering it's done a lot of miles, not really any sign of any wear and tear on this particular car. It's very well preserved, very been very well looked after. Clearly, coming around to the side here, you can see the car's wearing its original alloy wheels. They've got the Pirelli Scorpion rubber on them at the moment, 18-inch wheels on them. Um, very good condition overall, a couple of very light curb marks on that one, um, always the worst of the uh, the wheels, that one that, uh, that sort of reaches the curb by there, but overall the uh, the alloys are in good condition as is the paintwork of this particular car. It's uh, it's a classy looking car, the Freelander 2, massive massive improvement over the original Freelander. Just come around this corner of it here, very very light marks to show you by here that'll probably polish out to be honest because it hasn't cut through the paint so without a doubt we'll polish that out as well that little bit of touching in there we'll, we'll give that a polish and it'll it'll look better but you will still see a little bit of a touching mark on that in fairness but yeah you can see overall a very smart looking car got the tow bar on it it's got the twin electrics as well which makes it ideal for using uh if you if you've got a caravan Just coming around this side, you can see again, pretty much unmarked, to be honest with you, on this side of the car. There's not even any of the, the little touching marks that we, we showed you on the other side. It's it's a very, very nice car, this particular one is. It's got the front and rear parking sensors. These HSE models do tend to be quite well specced. Um, and it's the 2.2 litre diesel engine, which has got a six-speed manual transmission. I'll show you inside the car in just a second, but it's certainly got a very good specification. You've got things like the panoramic roof on this. It's obviously a very nice set of 18-inch wheels that are on it. And look at that, full lever interior. As well, you know, always look on a high-mileage car at the bolsters. Okay, there's a tiny bit of sagging in the lever, but the, the thing's still got its form. It's still very much, um, you know gives you the support you want out of the seat. I'm just going to get in because that beeping is so annoying. There we go. So there we have the interior, some subtle wood trim on the dashboard. That runs right the way along to this end here where we've got the uh, the lights. That's, um, you know, that signifies the HSE spec on it, but it's not overdone. It's not sort of garish inside here like it is on some of the other sort of top-end 4x4s. They've kept it very classy. It's got nicely trimmed leather uh, for the seats with the stitching on it. That's mirrored, obviously, on the on the actual seat itself with some nice stitch in there. Six-speed manual, as we showed. Being one of the newer Freelander 2s, it has got the uh, the descent control as well as the, uh, the sort of pre-programmable four-wheel drive system so you can select from road snow forestry and and sand on this particular car makes it very very easy to go off-road and being a Land Rover it really does perform fantastically well when you do now um, I'm just gonna start the car up that's done by a push button by here uh, so if I press that it starts the startup sequence the car will probably say that it is due a service at the moment we have got service history for it um, but it will be serviced before it actually goes out and there we go, it's averaging 40 miles per gallon, as you can see, according to the ship computer. Uh, and the mileage currently on the car is 138,000. I'll give it a very quick rev, as we always do. And I'm looking in the mirrors while I'm doing that, just to check there's no smoke. Um, it's absolutely perfect on this car. Uh, I've got the navigation system, which I'll just log into now for you. There you go. So you've got a nice, simple navigation. It's very similar to the one you get on the uh, on the Discovery Free. Uh, I find it very easy to use, having had a Discovery Free and a Range Rover my myself previously. The uh, the Freelander seems to have everything in it that I would have on those two larger SUVs. So very well specced car. I, I do like these when they got the HSE spec and 
this particular one's exceptionally nice because I've got this ma massive uh, twin roof on the car. It's like a panoramic sunroof. And uh, if I press the button by here, I can slide that panel backwards like so. Put it back over now and I think you can tilt as well. I'll just show you the tilt mechanism on it. And there we go. So it's just the front one that tilts and slides. The back one is purely a glass panel. Both of them have got sun blinds on them, which uh, which keep you feeling nice and snug inside. Overall, just a fantastic car. It's got the phone system on it. It's also got cruise control on it as well, this one. Um, obviously, it's a HSE, so as you'd expect, auto lights, full um, electrics pack. And it's even got things like the, the sort of start, stop, and, and parking um, assist on it with the, with the sensors front and rear. Heated seats as well. And uh, the driver's seat that I'm sat in has got full electric memory adjustment. And uh, that's another thing that obviously it can be programmable to the two keys as well. So you can uh, you can sort of pre-program this, this seat to put itself back in the position that it was in when you used the key last. So if it's two of you, one key each, set the, speed, the seat to where you want and uh, you'll always have your seat in the right position. Saves annoyance when you get in the car. <laughs> Overall though, um, these are, are actually a really great car and, and a little bit underrated. I think the, the very first generation of Freelander, it wasn't the greatest car in the world quality wise. Um, but when the Freelander 2 came out, they really did push it up to the levels of the its bigger counterparts like the Discovery and the Range Rover. And I find these absolutely fantastic. I actually find them a more reliable car than the Range Rover. And um, I, I do think that sort of in terms of comfort and size size and space and everything else on these you, you really have got a hell of a lot of car for your money they are similar size to a RAV4 uh, Honda CRV so you know if you're looking at either of those two vehicles also consider the Freelander 2 as uh, as an option as you can see plenty of space in the back again it's it's full lever it's nicely trimmed this car is the, the lever is in very good condition on it <laughs> There we go. Nice cup holders that come down there. And there's more in the front as well. And there's things like auxiliary sockets in the front of the car as well, which are uh, which are perfect for normal, modern driving. You can uh, play all your music through the stereo system. You can hook your phone up to the Bluetooth and you've got a good navigation system in this as well, all built in. So as far as, uh, as 10 year old SUVs go, this was really, really well spacked back in the day and would have been a pretty penny when it was new. So, if it's of interest to you now, please give me a call. 07932 873 646 is my number. Please feel free to uh, give us a comment and give us a like. Share this with your friends and family. And of course, please subscribe to us if you've not done so already. Just click the link, um, which you'll see pop it up in a second. Also, guys, um, we're happy to take part exchange. We're happy to arrange nationwide delivery. So wherever you are in the country, give us a ring. And uh, my number one more time to do that is 07932 873 646. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope it's been useful. And I hope that uh, if you're watching this, you go on to get yourself a lovely Freelander too. Thanks for watching.